Hey guys, so today we're going to be creating a triplanar shader. For those of you who don't know, what is this? It basically allows us to take a procedural texture and just slap it on any model. By default, if we do this, you can see that this model has no UVs and it looks like crap. But if we put a triplanar shader on it, it looks beautiful. So let's go ahead and start breaking some code or some shader. In Unity, the first thing that you need to do is first go over here to Window, Package Manager, and inside here you want to look for Shader Graph. If you're using Unity 6, it should be installed by default, but in some older versions, it won't. So just click on it, and here it should say Install. Now onto the shader. So for this, we're going to right click, go to Create, we're going to go to Shader Graph. And in my case, I'm using the High Definition Render Pipeline, but if you're using URP, it should be pretty much the same. So we're going to create a Lead Shader Graph. I'm going to name this Triplanar, and you can go ahead and open it up. For those of you who have never used the shader graph, don't worry, it's actually way simpler than code, and that's coming from a code guy, so <laughs> that can tell you a lot. The first thing that we want to do is create our variables, so over here, we're going to click on the plus sign, and we're going to start by creating a color. This is going to be our color, then we're going to create a texture 2D, which we're going to call the albedo, then we're going to do the same thing, but this one is going to be the normal map, then we want to create a float called piling. Then we'll create another one called Metallic, and two more, one called Smoothness, and another one called Alpha. Let's first sort out the easiest part. Go ahead and drag the Alpha over here, plug it in, do the same for the Smoothness and the Metallic. The next step is to right click, and we're going to create a node called Multiply. Over here, we'll pass the color as the last for the B. And for the base one, we're going to pass the result of the Triplanar node. For this, we're going to right click, Create Node, Triplanar. Go ahead and plug it into A. Then for the texture, well, I'm guessing you already guessed it by this point. We're going to drag this in, this for detailing. Then we're going to copy this and paste it down here. But instead of passing the albedo, we want to pass the normal map. Then for the type, we want to swap it over to normal. And then all we got to do is drag this into the normal slot. And last thing, drag the multiply over to base color. You can also go over to the albedo and assign a default value. If you go here, for example, we can pick something like the stone albedo and do the same for the normal map. Again, this is optional, but I do recommend that you do it. For the tiling, I recommend that you also give it a default value of one, otherwise the texture will just not work by default. You can do the same thing for the alpha, and smoothness and metallic, it's up to you. Now go over here and make sure to hit save, and we're good to actually create a material. Here in Unity, you can see that I have my stone material right here. So if I go ahead and click on shader, we're going to go over to shader graphs, and we're going to find triplanar. And you can see that we already have these options by default, but if you got other textures, just drag them in. If we drag it here now, you can see the material works perfectly. So there you go, you have a trail printer shader. If this still helped, like, comment down below, and subscribe, and I'm off to break my own code.